Believe it or not, it's been over 27 years since Pac got shot in Vegas. Since then, people have been speculating on who shot him, who was the mastermind. There's a lot of information, I would say misinformation online, people uh, giving their side of the story, their opinions. And I think that's misled a lot of people uh, into what happened. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step elimination process based on all the facts that we know as of October 2023. And I am pretty confident I can make a case that I know who the shooter was and who the mastermind was. And I want to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. There are still a lot of people who think Suge Knight was involved in what happened initially back in 96 i thought suge knight had something to do with it there was talk that tupac wanted to leave death row uh but now that the facts have come out uh we know that wasn't the case tupac couldn't have left death row he owed too much money he was offered a higher paying uh spot with death row with death row east so he wasn't leaving uh death row uh, even the cops gave their statements uh, since then. They spoke about the state that Suge was in right after the shooting. I mean, there was no way he could have put on an act like that. And ultimately, it's just common sense. He's over 6'2", over 250 pounds. There's no way in hell he would have been sitting next to someone who was a target of a drive-by that he set up because he could have easily been killed as well, especially with a forty caliber. Um, he actually was hit by a bullet fragment in the head. Uh, so it's pretty clear he had nothing to do with this, at least not directly. I think his only fault could be adding fuel to the fire, creating such a tense environment, a lot of uh, issues with many other rappers that ultimately played a role in this happening. But no, he didn't set up the shooting. At the current moment, there's no real smoking gun that we know of that will pinpoint uh, Puffy as being the person who ultimately uh, helped make the, the shooting happen. But there's plenty of evidence to suggest that he did, in fact, put a million dollar bounty on Tupac and Suge. He was scared of them. Uh, if you all remember a while Back uh, before this happened, one of Puffy's associates went to a party and uh, some of the death row guys, including Suge and Pac, cornered him and tried to get him to tell them where uh, Puffy's relatives lived in L.A. Uh, so he was scared of them. Also, uh, he knew they were going to create Death Row East and they were going to do really well, take away artists from him, take away business from him. So he did have motivation to get rid of these guys. So there was that bounty he put on, and there was also a $10,000 bounty he would he put up to anyone that would snatch a death row chain. And that actually uh, was what helped uh, start the fight because uh, Trayvon Lane was jumped in a mall in L.A., uh, and they tried to snatch his chain. And in Vegas, as soon as they walked out of the Tyson fight, Trayvon's the one that pointed uh, Orlando Anderson out saying, hey, that's the guy that, you know, tried to steal my chain. And then Pac went running towards him. And the rest is history. So uh, Puffy is very much involved. We'll have to wait and see now that uh, Keefe D has been arrested. We'll wait and see if he can present anything that would possibly put him at jeopardy and being tried as well. We will see to be determined as of October 2023. The majority of people since 96 believe Orlando Anderson was the person who actually killed Pac. His own uncle blamed him. He had the biggest motive. He was the one that got jumped. But ultimately, when you sit back and review all the facts, it seems very unlikely that it was him. And I'm going to get to that in a moment. This is DeAndre Smith, AKA Big Dre, and I believe he was the shooter. He was sitting behind the driver's seat in the white Cadillac when they pulled up. They pulled up on the right of Suge's BMW. Uh, the story goes that Keefe D sitting in the front passenger, 
front passenger seat, turned around, handed the gun to Big Dre. Big Dre said, no, no, I don't want to do it. And then Orlando Edison took it from him and uh, fired the shots himself. That seems very unlikely. First of all, Big Dre was a big dude. He was actually so big he died from complications related to obesity. So that would have limited the, that would have obstructed the view of Orlando Anderson. Second of all, if that was what happened, he would have had shell casings flown all over Big Dre's face, would have probably made him deaf, shooting right in front of his face. Um, it's very unlikely that Orlando Anderson fired off all those shots in front of Big Dre. Gaddafi, member of the Outlaws, was in the vehicle behind Tupac's when the shooting happened. He saw the white Cadillac pull up next to them, and it kept going up until it was side by side with the Shug's BMW. He said he told the cops right after it happened that he saw a big arm come out of the back window. Now, uh, the big arm would have been Big Dre's. It would not have been Orlando Anderson's. Uh, unfortunately, Gaddafi was killed in New Jersey a month later in an unrelated incident, so we couldn't get any more out of him. But his statements immediately after it happened, while everything was still fresh, big arm, back window. Kifi D, who has since been arrested, he was basically sitting in the front passenger seat of the white Cadillac. Uh, Years ago, he got pulled over and uh, he was going to be charged with a massive amount of drugs. And uh, the cops in California gave him a deal. They would go light on him on the possession charge if he told them exactly what happened. What he told them was that the shooter was his nephew, Orlando. Why did he say this? He said this because at the time, Orlando was dead and Big Dre was alive. If he read it on Big Dre, Big Dre would have been charged. So uh, his story was that he handed the gun to Big Dre. Big Dre didn't want to do it. Orlando took it from him and just uh, fired right in front of him. That's why it doesn't make sense. He basically lied to cover it up. Uh, it just doesn't make sense that that it happened the way he said it happened. So that's my take on the events. Uh, if you guys want, I can do one for Biggie, uh, what happened with him. It's not as clear cut as this case, but uh, there's a pretty good argument to be made on what happened with him as well. And I'll give another hint. Suge Knight had nothing to do with that either.